In this video, I'm going to go over 20 keybinds for the keyboard that I believe everyone should know or get familiar with. Anyone who's on PC and you're, you're a gamer and, I mean, even non-gamers, your screen starts getting all squiggly lined and you're like, oh no, my graphics card's going out. Well, sometimes it's just a, a simple reset of your graphics card. So what you do is you hit Control, Shift, Windows, and B. So contr Control, Shift, Windows, and B. You're going to hear a beep. I don't know what's going on on the screen right now because I'm recording this. You'll hear a beep, and what it's going to do, it's going to reset the graphics driver um, on your PC. It's going to go through and reset it. So the next one is a really great one to learn, uh, especially for productivity. So if you get a lot of things going on on your screen, uh, you need a lot of windows open. This one's really, really good. Uh, of course, it's one that everyone should already know, and that's Alt-Tab. So you hit the Alt button and the Tab. And then if you just hit the Tab button, you can go in between all your tabs that's on your computer. Uh, we'll stop right there. So that's also a really good one right there is the Alt-Tab and switch in between them. I think everyone should know that one, especially for productivity and your workload. Uh, whether you're a gamer or not, it's easy to go in and out of games. Um, makes makes life a little bit easier. So sticking with the productivity, you know, you have a lot of windows open. You need to go in between different ones, but you want you're trying to find something. Not only do you have your tab button, again, you have everything open. You're getting overwhelmed. All you have to do is put the Windows and then M, and it minimizes everything. If you then push Windows Shift M, it'll bring everything back to your workload. So say you need to minimize it to open up something else, then that's that's a real quick, easy one to do. Again, another must learn, must you know use for productivity. So this next one is a lot. Of, some people say it's laziness, or it can be laziness. I think that it's a good again productivity something to go through everything quicker especially you should already know the basics of your keyboard you know tabbing through certain things so say you open up a web page now you want to get to your address bar there at the top all you got to do is hit control l and it automatically pops it right up here say it's already highlighted so again i can sit right here i can tap down hit control l and boom now you're ready to type whatever you want to type in there all right, this next one is almost kind of similar to Windows M. Uh, but say you, where this one differs, though, say you're in a game and you need to get to your desktop really quick or say you're doing something you're not supposed to do on your computer at work. Mm -mm -mm, shame on you. Don't be doing that. But you want to get out of it really quick so nobody sees it. All you got to do is hit Win D. So the Windows button plus a D and it automatically brings you back to desktop. That way, you know, you hear somebody walking in or uh, you're at a cafe and you're doing some work and you, you think that someone's, you know, overlooking you over your shoulder. Just hit that Windows D. Uh, again, you can still use the Windows M to minimize it, but this will bring you straight back to the desktop again. So if you're in a game, something's frozen, try Windows D and it will bring you back when something's frozen. So again, another one to like Windows D or Windows M. Say you need to get out of something or it's lunchtime, you need to, you're at work and you want to secure your PC real quick. All you have to do is hit Windows L for a quick lock. So Windows plus the L key. And what that's going to do is give you your lock screen. And if you have a password, nobody can get in because you've already locked your computer. So very, very nice and handy, especially in a busy environment or you get up at a coffee shop, you can... Windows lock it, go to the bathroom, do whatever you need to do. Nobody can get in your computer because it's already password protected. Yeah, and this can be another one that some people say is, is a little bit of laziness, but it all depends on your productivity, you know. Depends on how product, you know, what in, product intense stuff that you're doing. But this one right here is uh, for search. So you can take your mouse and come down here and you can hit the button, right? But if you're in the middle of your workload and you got to get there quick, all you have to do is hit Windows and Q. And Windows and Q brings it right up, and you're already there. So this, again, Windows and Q brings you up to your um, search for anything in your computer. All right, so you're doing a bunch of productivity work or video gaming, whatever you're doing, and you're using a little extra resources, and things are running just a little bit slower on your computer, and your taskbar is not popping up. So, like, right now I have no taskbar. I can just, you know, I have it auto-hidden. I don't like my taskbar up. 
well, what if I went down here and the taskbar just would not open for me? What do you do? You can hit Windows plus T, and it'll open it up. Windows plus T. Another one that a lot of people should know by now, say you're in here and you're typing or you're making a video or doing whatever, if you just hit the Windows plus the period button, it brings up your emoji and, and GIFs. So now you can go ahead and you can type, you know, put whatever you want in here. You can search for something, say cake. I type in cake and look at there, cake's popped up. So again, you can do whatever. So as you're in here typing and then I want to put some fire behind it. Let's go ahead and put some fire behind it. So now my writing plus my fire there. So that's your emoji button for the PC. All right, so you got your PC, you got brand new Windows installed, you're setting it up for the first time, or you just went and bought a computer, you're setting it all up, and you like to have all your icons down here in the taskbar. Now, granted, I have extra in my taskbar. Some people don't like the extra, but I just redid my Windows like two weeks ago, so I got to set everything up. So say, you know, when everything gets set up and you want to just open something straight from here, uh, all you have to do is if you hit the Windows key, you can set key binds from one through nine. So if I hit Windows plus one, it's going to automatically open up uh, my file explorer. So uh, if I hit Windows plus three, it's automatically going to open up PC Manager for me. So you can set these to open up certain uh, programs. But whatever is down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only going to open up these first nine right here. That's the only key binds you get. So if you have certain programs you use the most, put them here. So like me, uh, my file explorer normally stays there. Uh, the store stays there. The PC manager stays there. And then I normally have OBS. Then I have my DaVinci and so on and so on for mine. So it's this quick access. Um, again, that's Windows plus one of the uh, one through nine buttons right here. All right, I don't know about anybody else, but me, this one I hear, this is a kind of a lifesaver in a sense, or um, it unaggravates me sometimes. Sometimes when you grab your, you want to split screen or you want to add extra screens, you know, you come up here and it's like, you got to go, you got to search through all these here at the top, right? Well, instead of searching through it, you're just, you're just wanting two screens side by side. So you just hit windows and the arrow button. Boom. That one's there. Windows and the arrow button. And now you can go ahead and click. And now you have your side-by-sides. There you go. So again, Windows and Arrow. This one right here I use on a daily because I do a lot of productivity on my computer. But say you are going in between different files. Now you need to reopen up your Explorer, uh, your File Explorer. Not Internet Explorer, but your File Explorer. So all you're going to do is hit Windows and E. And it's going to pop up and you can pop up as many as you look at this. You can pop up as many as you want. So if you need to go between different hard drives, different folders, this is really, really nice, you know, nice one to really learn to, so you can get to where you need to get to. So if you're doing it. You need to get to your videos, your music. So like me doing videos, I can click it and I'm in my music file folder, so on and so on. So it's really, really nice. Again, that is windows plus the E for Explorer, of course. So that's for your file explorer. So this next one, it's, it's a little quick access. So to get to your system, you can hit start here or right click here, excuse me, and hit system and get here. But instead of doing all that, all you have to do is hit Windows plus I. So Windows plus I. And now you're already here into your system. And now you can go do whatever you need to do. You know, get to your system, get to your Bluetooth, Windows updates, whatever you're doing. Everything's here. Well, again, that's Windows plus I. Another one that everyone should be familiar with is uh, Windows plus R. So now you're automatically in to your run program. So you can type in like misconfig and hit enter and boom, you know, you can go do what you want to do. Uh, it's the easiest way to get to your run program. Again, that should be basic knowledge, but we do have a lot of, you know, new people that are new to computers and that's the, you know, hence of this video. Uh, and I mean, even there's some older people. I mean, there's a lot of my buddies. I don't even know about a couple of these are, they're like, dude, how does that happen? You know, um, they didn't even know about some of this. So, but anyways, windows plus R opens up run. And now it's time to thank today's sponsor me. I do all this work out here. I, I make sure to get a lot of tech news out there. I do product reviews. Uh, all I ask is, you know, to like, and subscribe down below, give a thumbs up. I'd be much appreciated. Again, 
you know, there's a lot of work that goes into a lot of these videos. Um, just trying to make it out here, just keep people informed. You know, it's not so much as far as the money wise goes or trying to get monetized to make money. It's to keep people informed. And of course, the honest product reviews is what I'm really for. So uh, I love tech and gadgets. Just trying to get out here to see. So again, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. So this next one I use, you know, quite a bit because, you know, I am in my mid 40s here. Um but again, you know, there's you get to some websites and they're really, really small writing on them. So you can activate your magnifier for your windows. So all you type is windows plus your minus key or your plus key. And the more you plus, you hit that plus button, the more. And then you don't have to tap nothing. All you have to do is just move your mouse and your mouse will move right over it. We'll say that's too big. I can hit the minus button. Okay. And, da -da. and then I can scroll. I can read whatever I'm doing and it, it blows it up. And then of course you hit your minus a couple of times and it brings it right back and your magnifier is up right here. And then all you gotta do is hit close and you're out of it. All right, so you're doing a bunch of stuff on your computer and things are running real slow and, or you're in a video game, things are crashing or uh, the screen closes itself out, but yet it's still saying, you know, the program's not responding. Of course, one of the very first actions that we normally have is control alt delete. That will bring you into it. Um, to a menu where you can shut down the computer, you can restart, or you can start the task manager. Or you can get the task manager even quicker by hitting Control, Shift, and Escape. So Control, Shift, and Escape. And now it brings you up to the task manager here. So now you had something running. It was running too much. So if you see, I, I need to say OBS wasn't working. I can just right click and hit End Task, or you can just hover over or click on it and then hit the End Task right here. So again, that is Control, Shift, and Escape automatically takes you to the task manager. So the next one I use a lot for my productivity. I mean, this was probably one of my most used one. Um, it is to make virtual desktops. So say you're doing so much on this here or I'm doing some video editing here. Uh, I don't really want to minimize anything. I want to get to another desktop uh, or, you know, I, I make myself a whole new desktop. So in order to do that, you hit Windows, Control, and D. So Windows, Control, and D. And now you have a whole new desktop. I don't know if you've seen it on the bottom. I don't know if OBS brought it up, but it said desktop two at the bottom. Again, I can open up. Uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, Google right here. And then I'm going to do it again. So again, Control, or excuse me, Windows, Control, D. Okay, now I'm on desktop three. Now to go in between them, you're going to hit Windows Control and then your arrow. So Windows Control, arrow. And now I can go between all these desktop. And this makes life a lot easier. So like on one, uh, for instance, for me, I do, like I said, the video editing. I'll go between CapCut and DaVinci. And then I have my um, my source files or my, my uh, file explorer opened up on the other one. So and now say you're done with it and you want to get rid of them all besides your main one. All you're going to do is hit control, Windows, Control, and F4. So Windows, Control, and F4. And now you're back to desktop one. And this is where you started at. Everything's here. Everything else is already closed out. And then you can just close out whatever you don't need right here. So this next one is for anyone that's running an HDR monitor, uh, especially the new OLEDs or you know high-end, the HDR 1000. And you have SCR and HDR for high dramatic range for your, um, your monitor. So... The main way that most people go in is they go to display, they go to the monitor and then they turn it off from right here. But there's actually a quicker way of doing it. Windows, Alt, and B. So you just hit the Windows, Alt, and B. You're gonna see my screen flip, you know, go off and come on. Uh, you're actually not gonna see the change. I'm gonna go ahead and change it back because I do run HDR at all times. I like my HDR, um, that's just me. But yeah, Windows, uh, Alt and B turns your HDR on on and off. Really, really simple. Saves a lot of steps. Okay, so this next one, it's not going to, uh, OBS isn't going to pull it up because of privacy issues, but your Windows game bar. So Windows and G automatically pulls up your game bar, and then you have a game bar on your uh, desktop. This brings up your friends list. This brings up your some audio. This brings up a lot of things within the game bar itself. 
Uh, you don't have to get, you know, take anything out of it uh, to close out. All you got to do is tap on your screen and you're out of it, uh, which is really, really nice. All right, so this next one is mainly, well, this next one's for uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. I believe the AMD equivalent is uh, Alt and R together. Uh, for Alt and Z, though, you hit Alt and Z right here, Alt Z for uh, your NVIDIA, and it brings up your NVIDIA overlay, shows performance, uh, shows your clocks. You can have overlay to show your frames per second when in the game. So there, there are quite a few things that uh, NVIDIA has for that. All right, so I hope you got some helpful insight on the keyboard right here. Uh, again, I mean, you got so many, there, there, there's, I want to say thousands or at least a thousand different ones, but there's so many out there. This to me is what I believe, the the 20 that I believe that everyone should know. Uh, and really, truly, there's probably like 10 of them that's a, that, that I believe is a must on here. The other ones are kind of optional. But this right here is, uh, again, for productivity, uh, schoolwork, getting things done, which of course schoolwork's productivity, but to get things done, I believe that these are some of the the best key binds or um, quick access buttons that you can use on a keyboard. So again, if you, this you got any insight from this, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Leave a little emoji. Leave me a smiley emoji. Let me know that I did did something good here or you got something out of this one. But uh, like, subscribe if you're not. 80% 80, 80 of y'all are not subscribed who watch my videos. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. It's not going to hurt you nothing. It's going to help the algorithm out. Um, go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a like on this. Uh, I will have more, you know, how-tos and little tutorials like this as well as product reviews. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I have uh, the Flight Digi Vader Pro will be here, should be here. Uh, this I'm hoping this week uh, I'll have a review on it. So, again, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch y'all in the next one.